Good morning, Whalers, and welcome back. We are the WCPS Whaler News Network. My name is Mr. G. And my name is Robert Graves. Today is Monday, April 24th, and it is a day nine for sixth grade and a day three for seventh and eighth grade. The final countdown has begun. Now, with only 46 days left of school. Woohoo! Today's broadcast is being brought to you by our good friends at Island Kitchen at One Chin's Way. Whether you want breakfast, lunch, or dinner to go, or to dine, Island Kitchen has you covered. Also, don't forget, they run the corner at Nantucket, at the Nantucket Pharmacy on Main Street, where you can get breakfast, great breakfast, lunch, and homemade ice cream. I love Island Kitchen. Same. They're the best. All right, first, let's start with a huge birthday shout out to Esteban Limas Mejivar. For lunch today, our cafeteria will be serving up some classic cheeseburgers with french fries. <clears throat> Excuse me. For weather, we should see partly cloudy skies today with a high temperature of 55 degrees. Not bad. Uh, the student council, let's see where this one is. Uh, fundraiser. We'd like to remind everyone about the plant a flower fundraiser happening every Friday after school for the month of April. For one dollar, or doll hair as Cameron likes to say, you can buy a cup of soil, plant your seed, and watch it grow. This is a fun activity and a great way to support the student council. Also, don't forget about the CPS Spring Fling Cinco de Mayo. There's that one. Uh, that's next Friday, May 5th. We will be welcoming back our favorite DJ, Billy Voss, from 6 to 8 p.m. in the CPS cafeteria. The cost is only 5 bucks per person, so you don't want to miss this fun event. <clears throat> Now, an announcement for all 8th graders. Don't forget that tomorrow night we will host the 8th grade Expedition Night. It will take place right here at CPS from 6.30 to 7.30. So please remind your parents, friends, and other loved ones to stop by and check out all the amazing work you have been doing lately. Also, this Thursday, April 27th, the Look Up and Learn program will resume at the Mariah Mitchell Loins Observatory from 8 to 9 p.m. Any students interested in coming, going with Mr. G and Miss Minori should sign up right away. Yeah, that's going to be a good time. You're going to come, right? Yep. Oh, we're going to look at stars. Let's hope for a nice night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in sports, CPS, baseball and softball both play their season openers today right here after school. They're going to be taking on Monomoy Middle School at 4 p.m. out on the fields. So let's all get out there and support our student athletes. Last Saturday, the JV girls, the Cross team lost a tough one to Lexington by a score of 7-6. Coach Freed was proud of the girls as they never gave up, of course. Carolyn Collette, Mia Baudet, Lila McKechnie all scored goals, and Grace Keen scored three goals. Awesome. Coach Freed also said that Marin Mooney was an all-star in the net despite the short warm-up. The girls' first home game is going to be tomorrow against Sandwich at 5.30 p.m. Let's get out there and support the girls' JV lacrosse team. Of course, the Bruins won again yesterday, and they now have three games to one lead over the Florida Panthers. The Celtics also won their game yesterday. It was game four against the Hawks. Now they look to advance tomorrow night with game five at home in the Garden. Let's go Bruins and Celtics. Finally, today is National Pigs in a Blanket Day. While this day is celebrated across the world, the term often refers to a variety of different dishes. In the United States, a pigs in a blanket is often a hot dog or sausage wrapped in a biscuit or croissant dough and baked. Pigs in a blanket are genuinely served as appetizers or breakfast foods, but they're also, they're also often served at parties for a tasty snack. However, here in the studio, we believe that these delicious treats can be served at any mealtime. Oh, I love a good pig in a blanket. Delicious, tasty little treats. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the news for today. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and each other. Welcome back to school. Uh, most importantly, be, be kind, kind to, to one, one another. another. It's so easy. Bye. Good job, Robert. Thank you, sir. Yep.